Welcome to Trading Lounge and the Australian Report for the 22nd of September. I'm starting with the materials sector again, the XMJ, um, because it's just nice and clean, that's all. And what I mean by that is we have a nice five waves up for one, ABC for two, up for three, back for four, up for five, and then we've got five waves down here for wave A, three waves here for wave B, and then we're looking for five waves down here for wave C. Now this is kind of, in, well this is important because if the material sector is going to come down that much, and we'll also have a look at BHP and Rio in this as well, but um, if this is going to come down this much here, that's going to play a bit of pressure onto the ASX. So we may need to look low, for lower prices on the ASX as well. Now with the ASX, we've counted the ASX 200 up as uh, as three waves up here and using all this over here as a fourth wave here. That may be correct, but it may be wrong as well. And we may have to look at the ASX with five waves to the upside here and also a deeper correction as well. Um, but as always, we just go one step at a time, one wave at a time, one level at a time, and you know we decipher it and figure it out. So with the material sector uh, here, we'd been looking at uh, well Rio, for example, here in that section. So with Rio here, we were looking for wave one, two, three, four, five. So this is the same as the material sector, and this moved down through here. I mean, I can count it as five waves. I can see that. But over here on the material sector, that's it here, of course. And it's a little bit easier to count of the one and two and three and four and five ABC here. Still a little bit tricky, a bit quick, easy for me to say. But um, what I'm trying to say here at the end of the day is that this here would just be, if I can just copy that here, well, let's just do this here and get this as the A wave, the B wave. And yeah, I mean, as I mentioned, it just, it's telling us that um, you know we've got like we're not finished you know we've just got the A wave here um, unless I'm wrong and the whole thing's tied up in that case in, in there and then at that point well we would go along above here but well, we'll put this in here but we're not there yet you know that's all um, but we'll see if that gets breached I mean it's good to know where you're wrong and what you're going to do about it you know so this is what we're going to do about it. We'll be long from that point there because at the same time, this is a classic trading levels pattern sitting on, on the 100 here, one being the strongest number as the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, the A, the B and the C here, and then we push up from that point. Um, but still, in the meantime, we've got, you know, we've still got quite a, we've got quite a few days here to travel, haven't we? You know, it's almost like two weeks we've got here to travel. And like, what's that going to do to the um, the, the ASX? And this is BHP here as well. Um, much the same sort of thing here as well would be, I'll just clean my previous waffling and mess up here. But, um, you know, if this is correct, we'll just see, you know, what we need to breach this low here confirm that we're going to be coming down lower than that point because otherwise this could be part of a, uh, a bullish structure here so that low here being taken out would, uh, would would bring us down lower at that point so that's just something to look out for and I've got a different count here but we've also had uh, this market here with wave one being on up, up here as well and wave two here um, so we'll see We'll see. Uh, one step at a time, and that's, you know, we just once we can confirm things, then we can move on things. I mean, you can short it from this point if you're not already still short. Okay, I won't go into some of the other stocks. I think I've got my point across, which was that we may need to look at the ASX as wave one here. And looking at the material sector, it just feels like we've got further to, to go down at this point here, unless unless we make a new high here. Um, so we'll see for that. So coming to the ASX 200 here, this is a weekly chart. From the low, it's pulled up to the 
50-60% retracement level, which was our target. It's rolling over from here. If this is wave one up here, then it's possible for this market to move all the way back down here. This is what we need to be mindful of. On the daily chart, as you know, I've been looking at it as a wave four here. And there's different ways you can count all of this here. Um, you know, I can count this here as an A wave here, B wave over here, and a C wave coming down through here. But look, if we just stay with, um, with, with, uh, with the trend that we're working with, we'll be pretty safe. So first of all, as a wave four here, it can pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree. So that's cool. That's okay. That's what it can do here um, and it can come a tad lower as well because we may even have an A and a B and a C here if I can just don't go throwing tomatoes at me just yet but it's um, you know it could be played out like this wave three here an A wave here a B wave here just taking the tie at the top out here and then also taking the low out here as an expanded flat and that's what expanded flats do they basically you've got your third wave up here you've got your A wave here they just take the top out here to suck everybody in and they'll come all the way down here and take this low out here and suck everybody in on the short side and then move up from that point. So it's a double whammy, and we just need to be mindful um, of, of that. But I'm a bit old and crusty to be caught in, in a uh, in a trap like that. But at the same time, as I mentioned before, this can be all of this can be counted in different ways here. So we just need to be uh, careful about things. I mean, my wave five down here doesn't really play out that nicely, but. Uh, in terms of one here and two here and three here and then an A and a B and a C for way four. I've seen this sort of thing before and there is overlap on that. Yes, I know. Um, but we still, our job really is from this high here down to this low here is to count five waves. So that's what we're going to be doing today. So on the four hour chart, we'll go back to our count. <clears throat> this is our, uh, our current count. So we're looking down here as an A, B, C for the A wave, and then an A and a B and a C for the B wave here, and then looking for five waves in this space here. Now there's two ways I can count this. <coughs> one, of it, one of them takes us down to probably 5,600. So that's quite low when we compare ourselves, come back to the daily. chart here and look at the 5600 here it's really quite low here and it also overlaps wave one here so if that does occur then we'll need to look at this as being wave one at the top here because we don't want overlapping wave structures not at this degree not at minor degree of structure or intermediate degree of structure that's just not not the done thing it's intraday it's sort of okay um, up to a point um, and with derivatives it's okay because Elliot based his uh, his principle um, off the Dow Jones the industrials and and transports and so on so um, well there's no leverage um, so we just need to take that little bit on board but anyway let's just go back to the four hour chart here and as I mentioned our job really is to try and understand five waves in this section here so based on that let's check it out um, so we're going to have a look at two counts this is the first one here this takes us down to the roughly the 5600 um, also two within here when we've got 5,800, then because it's number eight, it's also part of group two. So group two, when, when this is minor group two, we normally work with it at sub-level, but it's also important here as well. So group two, as you know, is 65, 72, so that's 5, 7, 20, and 80 here. So 65, 72, and 80. So we'll leave them there. It's a bit of a skeleton. There's other important numbers. Uh, um, 700 is important and so on and so on but uh, that's just the skeleton of, of minor group two now coming from the top here we've got down here as five waves perfect five waves not a problem right um, no issue with that and ABC no no issue with that and then we've got we can look at this as wave one and two here and then one and two here and then five waves in this structure here as wave three wave four here to pull back to the wave four one less degree which it basically has down for wave five 
across for wave four, which can also pull back to the wave four of one lesser degree in here, down for wave five of three, and then four, and then five. So that's the path it can take. And I have to say, I'm quite happy with that, um, with this particular um, structure here for this. We'll come back to this. The other one is on the 15 minute chart. We'll pick it up from this wave B top um, over, over here. And that basically makes it, this one will make it a little bit shorter. So in this case here, that's the top here. Let's just grab one of these and put that in there. Just the bit, the wave B top in blue. I'll put that little guy over here. And you can see the nice five wave structure in here, the nice correction here for that. We don't need that now, keep it clean. Don't need that now, keep it clean. So from wave two here, we've got wave one, two, three here, four here, maybe a slight overlap there for that. Yep, so that's one red flag. And then looking at wave, um, from wave four here down to wave five here, this here would count as one, two, three, four, five here for the fifth of the third wave. So what, we'd re what I'm really doing here is putting the extension, instead of having the extension in the third wave, we're putting it in the fifth wave which is okay in a way as well, you know, it's workable. And what that would do is that if it was the other count, the other count would bring us back up to here as wave four. But in this case, if we've got wave three already in place, that means that the 38.2% retracement level can come back up to five eight. So that brings us a little bit higher in all of this. So, I prefer the other count, um, but I can't just throw this one out just yet. But what we could also take away from all of this is that you can stay bearish in this market while the market has got the 5.8 here as the resistance here. It didn't retest it here in this, so it may want to do it at this time. Eight uh, a, a good strong number. So, um, so in terms of getting out of this, like we did up here, I think, um, we use the classic trading levels pattern. So I'll just draw this out, the arrival, the reaction, the first high above the level, uh, then the corrective pattern and so on. So that means that we can bring the stop down to this point. Once that high's in, don't go getting stopped out while it's moving up into this space. It will fall back and then you can put that stop above there. So that's what we'll do uh, in this case over here. So just clarifying that. Um, we could also go along from that point there as well. Um, but otherwise, uh, but in both cases, we would see this market move lower here. So I either way I count it, we're not done and dusted yet. So there's a couple of targets here. One would be the, um, well, the 700 would come in pretty handy at this point. I have to say, but if it pushes down further than that, then the 5650 is where you'll need to look at for that. And on the uh, one hour chart, this is for the players that uh, have got a bit of intestinal fortitude and uh, they can hold on to uh, their positions at this particular point. So that means we've got a short position here and here and here. Um, this moved a little bit quick to get another one in, but we've taken some percentage off at... Um, so I'm just going to move this over to the right side over here. And you may not have taken that scene that moved through so strongly through there, but um, I've got to stick with it, so we'll stick with it. And um, let's see. Let's see how this plays out uh, here. Tuesday is normally a bit of profit taking and then the trend will resume in uh, the same direction. So that's what we may see here, so a bit of short covering on the open and then down from that point. So be mindful um, of that. Uh, but both counts take us uh, lower. It's just which one is going to be the be the case here. So in a way, it doesn't really matter if this is wave four here or just wave A here or anything else here. We are in this trend and that's 
that's the only thing that's you know that's the here and now and that's where the money is that's where that's where our focus should be and um yeah so we're doing all the right things at the right time uh even though i don't fully understand what's uh what's what's uh what the answer is at this particular point in time so i think that's just about it for today um just thinking out loud here yep no nope, that's all good okay i'll leave it at that thanks for tuning in cheers <laughs>